Hi, welcome to Mikey's Video Game Madness. Today we're playing Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 on the PlayStation 4. And it takes a while to update. It's doing all this online shit because apparently based on the faction that you pick in the beginning of the game when you get it, like you get extra points if everybody that plays on your faction wins a lot. It's just a bonus. You don't have to have an online account. There's so much shit to do without online. It's not even funny. So if you're against online gameplay, don't let this shit fool you. This is just a bonus. When you start the game, it asks you what faction you want to be part of. Black Dragon, the Brotherhood of Shadow, the Ling Kuei, Special Forces, or the White Lotus. And you literally just pick the faction. And based on how much you play single player or online, any points that you earn in the game will go to your faction. And based on whatever faction you are, everybody who plays the game contributes. And as long as I guess you're connected online. And um, if your faction happens to win, you get extra points. It's as simple as that. It's, and I'm probably over explaining it. So this is Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 and you might be confused. You're like, there's never a Mortal Kombat numbered game since Mortal Kombat 4. I can clear that up for you if you'd like. Oh, you'd like me to? Okay. I'm just answering that you'd like it since I can't actually talk to you one on one because I'm recording a video and what you're watching is recorded like in, in the past once I put it up. Wow, this has a lot of audio options. I'm glad it has a reset to default. I'm gonna set everything to 50. I wish there was a option that you could move everything maybe there is and I'm just dumb but anyway to explain there is a Mortal Kombat and I'm not counting the spin-offs because there is a few spin-offs which were um, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero uh, Mortal Kombat Special Forces Sub-Zero was alright Special Forces I think I should lower it a little bit more Maybe down the 30. Sub-Zero is all right. Special Forces was pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, although at the time, you could put any PlayStation game in front of me and I'd play it. And I did play quite a bit of Special Forces. I didn't think it was an atrocity until I played it a few years later. And I was like, oh, this is why everybody said it was so bad. Sometimes when I make these videos, I forget to change anything. And then the last one was, what the heck was it called? It was um, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. That one was actually really good and I highly recommend that. That came out on PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. I hate not being able to call the original Xbox um, Xbox One anymore. It, it, it's just so tough. And I find myself screwing up, like, if I'm looking for an Xbox game that's compatible with the 360, because some of them are. I don't have an original Xbox anymore. I did in the past, but I don't anymore. But the 360 can play some of the games. And um, sometimes when I go to the, the um, little retro store that's down the street, which is really cool. If you live in Richmond, check out Bits and Pixels in Carytown. It's like the best video game store ever as long as you're not looking for new shit. Which a lot of times I'm not because the new shit's everywhere else. Which I've seen it a hundred times before in every other store. So seeing retro shit's cool. Um, and they also sell local artwork and stuff as long as it's video game related. And sculptures. Awesome store. Can't say enough good things about it. If you're in Virginia or Richmond area, I would definitely check it out. But anyway, Shaolin Monk's great game. But there is Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Then there is Mortal Kombat 4, Mortal Kombat 
for gold that was on the Dreamcast. Um, I'm not going to count it anymore, the little branch off titles, because there were some Game Boy Advance titles. Then after Mortal Kombat 4, there was Mortal Kombat... It looked like a 5, but it was never called 5. It was just called Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Then there was Mortal Kombat Deception, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, um, Mortal Kombat... Um, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. See, so far right now we're up to eight Mortal Kombat. So that was technically Mortal Kombat eight, um, and the ones that I previously mentioned: Deadly Alliance was five, Deception was six, Armageddon was seven, Mortal Kombat um, versus DC Universe was eight, and then. The just titled Mortal Kombat. That was technically Mortal Kombat 9. So when you get to this game, it's Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10. So hopefully I um, cleared that up for you. And why does it say Mortal Kombat? That's the the one that came out before this that it's showing coming soon. I, I wonder if that means that it's going to have like the old game or part of the old game in the costumes. I don't know. Let's check out the um, towers, by the way. There's traditional towers, which are like the old games. So if you're not an online person, this is the towers that I would pick. And there's test your might, where you chop shit up. There's test your luck, where you um, play like those little modifiers that change the game there's classic that's the one I usually pick that's the most fun and each character actually has an ending and there's a huge story mode with cutscenes living towers if you have an online connection I don't know if you need PlayStation Plus or whatever but um these change as you can see like every day or so this one's gonna be up for a day and four hours this one's up hourly so this one's gonna change in like the next hour or so this one's daily what's cool about this is some of the characters that you have to actually pay for which i think is a bit expensive i think it's thirty dollars for the season pass to get all the characters you know since this game is selling well which i believe it is and it's gotten pretty good reviews. I haven't really heard anybody say anything negative about it. They're probably going to eventually come out with like some game of the year edition that will have everybody. I really hope they come out with four, more than four characters. The four characters that come with the season pass are Jason Voorhees, um, Tremor, which is one of the bad guys from... Um, Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Why did they think that was a good idea? Is beyond me unless they have a hell of a story to go behind that. And then they got Tanya, which I didn't really care for. Off in Mortal Kombat 4, she was kind of like a Jade Katana character. But then in Mortal Kombat 4 Gold, they kind of, I believe they added Katana and Melina. So then it's like Tanya became kind of obsolete. And then you have the actual Predator, which is kind of cool. Jason Voorhees and the Predator are cool. I would have liked to see them add Freddy Krueger again, so you could have Freddy versus Jason. So I'm hoping maybe they'll add more characters. Since it's Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers actually bought out New Line Cinema, and they actually own the rights to A Nightmare on Elm Street. And and um, pretty much all the, like the horror remakes now, Nightmare on Elm Street... Um, Friday the 13th, I'm not sure if they own the Halloween series, but I mean, I don't know. Beside the first three Halloweens, I, I really don't like the, um, the Halloween movies all that much. So, yeah, and then they got a bunch of outfits. Was $30, it's half the price of the game, and there's a shitload of stuff. Once you gain coins, you actually come here. You guys actually haven't even seen any fighting yet, so I'm really on a good roll to start at interesting, entertaining videos, but hopefully my voice is carrying along this video and not the actual content in the video. Because honestly, you could just play the game on your own or watch somebody else play it. 
So you have this crypt with coins. There's a little number that counts down where there's like a little treasured chest that eventually disappears. But anyway, you have these tombstones and shit and you can use your coins based on how much the tombstone costs and unlock it like so. There's a tombstone and there's so much unlockable stuff. There's so much content in this game. It's not even funny. Look, see, I just unlocked a brutality. And you can accumulate coins pretty fast, especially if you um, do a lot of fatalities and stuff like that. That really helps when you play the single player game. And there's quite a few characters without having to buy any. And no, it's not on disc because the characters weren't released day one. So you can really, you can um, unlock like outfits, extra fatalities, artwork, music. A lot of brutalities in this area. I'm gonna quit for now. Um, return, quit the menu, menu, okay. Yeah, so I wouldn't even bother getting the season pass unless you unlocked everything in the crypt. In some parts of the crypt, you actually get attacked, which is cool. So we're gonna um, play tower, or actually single fight. I'm not very good at these games or fighting games in general. I've actually started to become better at Street Fighter, but I think this is the greatest um, out of all the fighting games i played. This is the greatest entry-level fighting game. Right now, Mortal Kombat of this recording, Mortal Kombat XR10, whatever you want to call it, is available for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, which is this version, and the PC. I heard the PC version has some issues. Don't know exactly what beside. I heard the cutscenes color scheme is off or something but i'm sure as of this recording it's probably been patched up so um you pick a character and you can actually pick what type of character you want based on the moves and square obviously if you unlocked it you can change their outfit i really don't care what power she has right now for the sake of the video i'm just trying to show gameplay but if you play the um, towers, you actually get an ending for each individual character, which is really cool. And there's also a story mode that's quite lengthy that has cutscenes in between, which is pretty entertaining. I mean, the story isn't going to blow your mind. This isn't fucking Shakespeare, Mark Twain we're talking about. Um, if you don't like those authors, pick one you do. But anyway... It's interesting, it's cool, and this game caters as much to the single player audience as it does to the online audience, which is really, really cool. You don't really see that at all. Usually you see one game just cater to one or the other. I never said I was good at this game, so if I'm doing cheap repeated attacks, that's because I'm not very good at this game. I'm average. I'm scared to play someone online. I've yet to do it. The movies are pretty simple. What's great about the last two Mortal Kombat's that came out. I, I haven't actually played Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. So I don't know what it is. You have a moves list. Back in the day. You'd actually have to go to the store and buy a fucking magazine. To figure out how to do the fatalities and shit like that. But here you have a moves list and you actually get a full list and it tells you everything you need to know. Right in here there's a question mark because I didn't unlock her second fatality but that's something you unlock in the crypt. You have faction kills. I think they only work when your faction wins. I don't actually know exactly how they work as well as the brutalities. I, I, I don't know how they work. I did one by accident one time. Um... You can spend your precious money if you want to to perform easy fatalities, but I mean, come on. Can you not do back forward, back X? Is that too hard for you? I mean, to pay money to do a fatality just to do that, but most of the stuff that you buy is optional. It's not forced. Maybe you get an extra outfit or something. I don't know. 
There's stuff that flashes in the background. X-ray moves look really cool. They almost look like fatalities on their own. When you see X-ray on the bottom part of the screen, depending on what side you are, you just hold both of the trigger buttons, at least on the PlayStation 3. I imagine it's the same on the Xbox. The moves are pretty easy to pull off. It's not Street Fighter, so you don't have to worry about um, doing some crazy combos with half circles and shit like that. Although I, I do like Street Fighter and I'm getting used to it. It's taking a while. The thing about Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat, and I'm sure the pe for professional players would disagree. With Street Fighter, I think you kind of got to pick a character. Like I really like Chun-Li because her kick is kind of kind of um has a decent length to it and her moves are pretty easy to pull off and remember and i'm just used to playing as chun Li, and she's like my favorite character just because i guess i've learned how to use her and i've actually finished the game with her um thing about street fighter is i think you got to pick a character and learn that character's moves and just stick with that character on this i think you can Swap swap out characters a lot easier because the moves are more simple, but you don't want to see this menu screen of course So let me try menu. Let me try this back for back X See that was easy. I didn't even have to do it fast like in the older Mortal Kombat you had to be a lot more precise this one is pretty patient so I mean, I'm not gonna pick on you if if you um, buy the easy fatalities where all you have to do is push the trigger button and a one other button to pull it off. More power to you, it's your money. But I think it's a waste of money. If you're gonna spend your money on this game, I would definitely spend it on an extra character. I'm gonna select a new fighter for the sake of making this video more interesting since I forced you to watch menus instead all this time. I'm actually picking characters I don't remember playing as. One thing I also like about this game is the difficulty level is pretty pretty fair because a lot of things like in every Mortal Kombat before this when you got to like the final bosses like Shao Kahn or um, Goro or whatever, the game would kind of cheat and know what you were doing before you did it and spawn the same tax over again. I mean, this game does it sometimes, but very rarely, and that's only the last boss in this game. All the other characters are pretty fair. I don't know what the higher difficulties are like. Maybe the game cheats then. But for the most part, this game is very fair, very accessible, very entertaining, very over the top, as you can see. Obviously your character should be dead, but they're not. I kind of miss the digitalized characters. I always wondered what would happen if they'd like photograph real people and like or scan real people and put the textures on like a 3D model, like how realistic would they look? And I, you know what, with the new technology, this runs on the Unreal 3 engine because when they start working on this game, they didn't have, um, there's stuff in the background you can use. Like that. I was trying to figure out what button to use. There's a block button I sadly don't take advantage of. I imagine if you become really good at this game, his fatality's a little bit harder. Down, back, forward, down, square. Down, back, forward, down, square. I still was able to do it. What the hell is 
That was a weird fatality if I've ever seen one. It's making sand come out of him. I don't know what this dude's story is. I'm sure you could look it up in one of the many menus. We'll do one more fight. I play as this person. That reminds me of um, Master Blaster from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I wonder if that's where they actually got the idea from. I mean, obviously there's some girl creature and the dude's not wearing a metal mask, but it looks like the same concept of the Master Blaster, which was this character on Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome where there was like a little person on top of this big guy. I think he was like mentally retarded or something and wore like this um, and like help. Max wouldn't kill him because he saw that he had some issues once he took his helmet off. Wow. I don't, I don't like this character. The bigger characters are harder to play as because they're not as agile. I've never played... I've been... Like I said earlier, at least I think I said it earlier, ADD's a bitch. I can't even remember like 15 minutes ago. I was, I'm picking characters I haven't played as. The combos are pretty easy to pull off without an ally actually even knowing what they are. I don't know. Yeah, she'll survive this, but she'll be pretty weak. Seems like you have a lot more health than you would in the other Mortal Kombat's. I feel like your health bar doesn't drain as fast as it would when I played the other games. I don't know any fatalities. Let's hopefully I don't have to do one up quick. Four back, four back X. Four back, four back X. All right, Anatomy 101. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I think you guys have a good idea of what this is. Great fighting game, probably the best on the new gen systems. Apparently there's gonna be a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version that will come out eventually and um, yeah, I, I, I'd give this game a thumbs up and I would definitely try it out if you want a fighting game for your system. They have Ultimate Street Fighter 4, but probably find a cheaper version that probably doesn't look as good, but looks decent on PlayStation 3. I got a version it plays just fine. If you want a more complicated game, like I go to Street Fighter, but I think this just has more bang for your buck, even though there's a bunch of shit you can buy online, but there's a bunch of shit that you can unlock and play in this game before you even all have to touch online. There's so much shit to unlock, so. By the time you unlock everything, they might have a game of the year edition, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a fantastic um, fighting game and great for beginners and good for people who play fighting games. It's, it's a fighting game made for everybody, really, that wants to play a fighting game, whether you're new to the genre, you're kind of not good at it. I mean, it adjusts to the kind of gameplay you want to play. If you want to play online matches, you can play online matches. If you want to play single player, you can play single player. You like unlocking shit, you get coins, you can unlock shit. But it's great. 
If you guys like this video, feel free to leave comments, positive or negative. If you choose to leave a negative comment, please make sure the criticism is constructive and you're not being a dick to me or anyone else on my page. I would like it if you people who watch this channel and don't normally comment would comment more. I want to get to know you guys, be friends, you know, or something like that. I don't know. But I'm putting the invitation out there to put comments and I will be more than happy to reply to any comments that you guys put down as long as you're not trying to purposely be an asshole. And most of the time a lot of the people that are trying to be trolls are pretty shitty at being trolls and they kind of just look like stupid assholes that are just trying to start shit but they're not all that bright but you know whatever. Maybe it's it's a mental thing, maybe it's a disease, maybe we should be trying to help these trolls instead of looking down on them as assholes, I don't know. But um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I, I don't know if this video won you over because it was me talking a whole bunch. If you're wondering if that sound is, my dog decided to come in here on the hardwood floor and her claws are really loud and she likes to interfere with the sounds of the video. Great dog, though. Love her to death. I'm glad to have her back. Her name's Gwen, by the way, if you don't follow the channel. But, um, yeah, if you haven't decided already, which I'm sure you have, because I'm assuming you're an adult. And if you're not, shame on you, unless you had your, your parents' permission, then you're cool. Feel free to subscribe, you know, if you haven't thought about it already, but I'm sure you have, but... I think that's the YouTube thing to say, followed by thanks for watching. So take care, and if you continue to watch this channel, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And for those of you who continue to support the channel by watching it, thumbs upping the video, which I really appreciate, and leaving comments, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And for those that leave comments, I've really appreciated getting to know you all. And hopefully some of you newer people will start leaving comments so I'll get to know you too. Man, that sounds creepy, but it's totally not. All right, guys. Thank you and take care. Bye.